Hello everyone, I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Welcome to today's video. Um, in today's video, I am going to show you where I started. I created this painting here. Sorry about the glare. I'll try and get away from that. And I liked it so much that I framed it immediately. And then I tried to reproduce that because I wanted to make a video. And instead, I got this. And what happened with this video is that I paused it and then when I came back, um, I forgot to hit record. So it didn't record the entire video. So then I tried it again and it didn't turn out well because I didn't use enough ink with my alcohol. It came out too light. So then I tried it again <laughs> and um, I'd given up on this one and I poured alcohol all over it and I ended up just playing around and I created this really pretty background. And then I poured more alcohol in the center and started just playing with my embossing gun and I got this gorgeous effect. Uh, let me see if I can avoid the glare. And it looks like fabric folded over. It's just so pretty. Now I tried to do it again for a video. And well, the center of this kind of resembles that so I figured I, I had to try it before I tried to videotape it so I'm going to give it a try again and but I can't make any promises hopefully you get the basic idea and you can give it a try and maybe have better luck it, with alcohol inks if you get it good once you're lucky so I'm pushing it by trying to do it again so all right I have some Kirkland photo paper here, paper here. I'm using the back side, not the glossy side. The glossy side is created to absorb ink when a photograph is being printed on it. The back side does not absorb, and that's why you use the back side of the photo paper. And not all photo paper is the same. I've tried other brands. Um, Kirkland photo paper, as far as I'm concerned, is the best that I've that I've found to work with. Okay, so. We have an embossing gun, and for those of you who've never used an embossing gun, let me explain to you. I also have this Revlon hair dryer. It came with a brush that you remove, and it has a couple of settings, high, low, cool, and off. An embossing gun gets a lot hotter, and I've tried to do this technique using a blow dryer, but it just doesn't work. Um, the lines are very soft and not as defined. You're not going, at least I cannot get the same effect. So we're not using the blow dryer. We're using the embossing gun. When you use an embossing gun on photo paper, by the way, don't ever use it on Yuko paper because it can melt the paper very easily and quickly. But um, when you're using it on photo paper, you need to maintain a safe distance from the paper. Otherwise, you can burn it and it'll start to warp a little bit. So you have to be really careful. You have to stay at least, at the very least, one inch away. Try to stay further. And you can't stay in the same area for very long. So you have to move it around quickly. All right. So all that being said, I'll remind you that all the products used will be listed in the description box just below the video along with the links. And if you would like to sh show your support for my channel, you can do so by giving me a thumbs up, by dropping a comment, and uh, by subscribing. Um, your interaction with my channel is very helpful and I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions about the techniques you see me use or any questions at all, even if it's not about this particular painting, drop it in the comments and I will get back to you. I do read every single comment and um, I try to help everyone that I can. Okay, that out of the way. I have a plastic um, shot glass here and I'm going to put um, about a finger of alcohol in it. I don't measure, so it's about my pinky finger. And then I'm going to put in a good squirt of the pitch black. And I also used a little bit of salmon, so I'm going to give that a good squirt too, and that's it. I'm going to swish it around a little bit. And before I get started, let me tell you, this is really loud, so I apologize. And this may take a while because it does take a while to dry. So um, 
I'm just giving you a little warning. This may take a bit. So, okay, I'm swishing it around and then I'm just going to pour it on my paper like that. And before it starts to get away, I'm going to turn on the embossing gun and I'm going to start pushing it in from the sides towards the center. Don't blow right over the ink puddle, otherwise you'll end up wearing most of the ink. So come in, make sure you come in from the side. And I am, I would say, about an inch and a half to two inches away from the paper. Also, make sure that you have a paper towel nearby. All right, now that I have, let me turn this off a second. I kind of have a barrier of dry ink here, which will kind of keep my ink in the center. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth on one side and then go to the opposite side and start to create some lines. Then I'm going to switch it up and do the opposite sides. And that's how I started to get these lines that you see here. So let's see if I can replicate this. Keep a paper towel nearby because if your ink starts to get too thick, you're going to want to mop it up with the paper towel and add a little bit more alcohol. All right, wish me luck. I'm still removing some of the ink but I'm starting to get those lines it just takes a really long time
Just keep moving the ink from one direction to the other. And adding a little bit more alcohol when you need to. And there we go. <laughs> that really took a while. Um, but let me show you. It's not as good as the other one, but I'll bring it close so that you can see all the detail that I got and how I got those pretty folds in the center at the very least. These are interesting, but not as interesting as these here. So uh, if you have patience and time, you can give this a go. And I would really love to see how you do. So um, I'm going to post this on my Facebook page, Vivo Vintage Designs. If you give it a try and you get a similar effect, just drop your picture in the comment section of my post on my Facebook page, because I really would love to see what patterns and designs you all come up with. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.